Sure. Um, you know, we wanted to attack them with uh, you know defensive pressure, and that was a, a hard thing to do tonight for us. Uh, we tried a variety of different defenses, and none of them really seemed to slow uh, down what Drew was trying to execute against us. And um, you know, our effort and our toughness um, for 40 minutes just didn't seem to be there. It was really a struggle to get a lot of things going on both ends of the floor. So um, you know, we've got to regroup. It starts a practice um, tomorrow. Yeah, Danny was aggressive. I thought that he played physical enough um, to compete with a team of Drew's caliber. Um, and, and Antonio, coming off the bench, he's really started to find himself gaining confidence every day at practice. Um, was, was, you know, physical, made some good offensive moves, made a couple shots for us. And then the unselfish player that he is even picked up some assists and got guys involved, you know, when he had space. And maybe could have taken a fourth shot, um, still, you know, made the, the one more kind of pass that we preach in practice and found his teammates. So, um, you know, happy that those guys were able to uh, contribute on the offensive end. Um, but, you know, we've, we've just got to better as a, as a team on defense. We, we can't be giving up 100 points. Um, and it felt like all night long we just gave up uncontested layups and, and wide open three-point shots. Um, and when you're playing a game in the landmark conference, when you give up layups and threes, you're going to come out on lopsided um, losses time and time again. It doesn't matter who the opponent is. Yeah, we, we always preach trying to make more than our opponents attempt, right? That's a sign of being tough. Um, you know, talking to the opponents, clapping your hands, that look at me stuff is not really toughness. Um, you know, boxing out, being physical, rebounding with two hands, getting to the foul line, um, and like we said, make more than your opponent attempts, especially at home. Um, that's a sign of toughness to us, and we, we take our foul shots serious. I'm not surprised that we shot well from the line. I, I expect every time that our guys go to the line, no matter who it is, it's going to go in. I have confidence in my guys, and they show it to me. You know, We track it every practice. We have a free throw ladder that I spoke about before in previous interviews, and um, you know, the guys take pride in their free throw shooting at practice. We make it very cutthroat. Um, and you know we'll put guys on the line with a penalty on the line, and they've got to make one. Otherwise, you know, penalty happens, and we try to make it that way in practice, so that when we get in the game, um, you know, that can be an asset of ours that we can use to keep us, um, you know, in games or or put us ahead in close games. Uh, well, we've got to get our mindset back. You know, tonight wasn't we did not look like ourselves. It was the first game all season long where um, I watched and heard things from my team where they really did not handle adversity the right way. And that's not my guys. That's not what we preach. That's not our mission as, as a program, as coaches, as players together. Um, and we have to hold each other accountable for that. Um, and, it, and we will. Um, tomorrow practice, it will not be easy. Uh, we're not going to stay here and, and feel sorry for ourselves uh, that, that Drew got the better of us tonight. Um, we've got to respond to this the right way. And in the moment, in the game, we need to respond to it the right way. And tonight, uh, we did not. So that's something that I'll address with my players, and we'll get straightened out. I have no doubt that their confidence is not going to waver. We've got another – it's going to be practice game, practice, practice game. This is a time of season where you don't have long to look in the rearview mirror. Um, so I'll see how they react to it. This is a good test to see how a young team bounces back after um, you know, a beatdown like, like we received tonight. And, and we've got to be ready to go because E-Town's going to be waiting for us and hung, just as hungry as any other league opponent.